Hello guys, welcome back to Abstronic Silky Tutorial. Now, let's talk about how the bistable mode working by using the same IC NE555 timer IC. You can see pin 2 connected in between the momentary switch and 1 kilo ohms resistor and the opposite of the 1 kilo ohms resistor will be connected to the positive power supply and there are two version of the silk kit very interesting so let me highlight the first portion of the silk kit and you can see the violet is highlighting now you can see the signal from the simulator store board and that voltage dropping from 1 kilo ohms resistor and this voltage will be injected to pin 2 so let inject the voltage drop from the resistor to the negative input from pin 2 of the internal block diagram of the NE555 timer IC The positive input of the comparator one is one third of the VCC, which is four board, and the negative input from pin two is third board. So comparing the two input, third board is greater than. The positive input pole board then the output of the comparator one will be logic law and the output from Q of the flip-flop circuit will be logic high so when the output is logic high then the output from pin 3 will be logic low and you can see the lead is not flowing from both output at pin 3 now let me press the momentary switch so when I press the momentary switch the 2 end terminal will be shorted and when it is shorted then the voltage drop from the resistor will be zero volt and zero volt injected to pin 2 now let's see what happened to the circuit from the internal circuit block diagram of the NE555 timer IC so let inject from pin 2 by 0 volt and the positive input is 4 volt greater than the negative input which is zero board therefore the output of the comparator one will be logic high so when the output is logic high then the output from Q of the flip-flop circuit will be logic low 
and the output from pin 3 will be logic high. Now you can see the LED is glowing. Now let's go back to the circuit simulation and let's see if the output from pin 3 will be logic high. So let's click the momentary switch. Now you can see the voltage dropping from third volt to zero volt. That causing the output of the comparator one will be logic high. So when the output is logic high, then the output from Q of the flip flap circuit will be logic low and the output from pin 3 will be logic high. Now you can see the LED is glowing. Now let highlighting the second portion of the circuit and you can see the violet is highlighting and the signal from the simulator is turbor. Since pin 4 connected to turbo, then the output is remain high. Now what happened when I press the momentary switch? When I press the momentary switch, again the two end terminal of the switch will be shorted and when it is shorted then the voltage drop from the resistor which is third bolt now become zero bolt because the ground wave pulling the voltage drop from the resistor so therefore instead of third board the voltage will be zero board and it will be injected to pin 4 and now the reset is logic low so therefore the output from pin 3 will be logic low and the lead is cut off and let's see if the output from pin 3 goes to logic low now let me press the momentary switch now you can see the voltage from the simulator from third board dropping to zero board simply because the voltage dropping from one kilo ohms resistor which is third board pulling by the ground and now zero board injected to pin four causing the output from pin three goes to logic law and the lead is cut off that is how the buy stable mode working by using 
NE555 Timer IC So guys Don't forget To subscribe To my channel Like and share Now Let's see From the actual circuit On my breadboard. 